Welcome to today's edition of the Harrisburg Heat Flash. I'm joined right now by Harrisburg Heat bench boss Tariq Walker. Coach Walker, thank you for joining us. Thank you. Our topic today is preseason camp, which opens October 1st. And Coach, first of all, I'm sure you're excited to get chopped back in that bit. Yeah, I mean, we've. I'm really excited to see. You know, we just did evaluations on the 19th, and uh, now I'm really excited to see these young guys come in and see what they can offer in the full squad situation. And also seeing our vets, uh, you know, a couple of guys that we've definitely want to bring back um, going into their second and third years, see their improvement. So it's going to be an exciting time come October 1st. You talk to coaches, no matter the sport, no matter the league, and they say one thing they're looking forward to when they get to their campus competition. Oh. Do you feel like this is going to be a oh, yeah. competition uh, for I mean, camp? I think all of our guys know um, that, uh, you know, even the guys that, that will be signed at that point, they know that uh, we're expecting competition. Nothing's guaranteed. Uh, no roster spot is guaranteed, so uh, we we're expecting a, you know, a great deal of competition. In some of these positions, we have four or five guys um, that are competing for that top spot at that spot at that position. So um, there's definitely going to be competition involved, and we'll we'll make it similar to uh, to the evaluations to where we're playing as much as possible. Obviously, there's some systems that we need to put in place, but we'll go over that as well, and then and then we'll play. And uh, I guess this is going to be taking place at Sports City in Harrisburg? Yeah, most of the training sessions will be at Sports City. Um, we'll have some fitness and agility trainings that will be elsewhere. Um, most likely, I, I'm not really sure of the location, but um, so there will be some times where it's just uh, speed and agility trainings, fitness training, and then the other times that we will get into Sports City and, and use the boards and, and really work on, on the indoor game. Um, how much? How long is camp going to be? How long from, I guess, the season starts November 6th. So mm -hmm. how realistically long does camp last? Does it last right up until that, that date? Or Yeah, we will, um, we will take uh, all the way up until probably November 1st with the preseason uh, numbers. Um, then we'll probably November 1st and getting into that first week, we'll, we'll break it down into what we think our roster will be for the season. Um, at that point, uh, you know, we're looking at possibly, I think it's 15 to 14 dates that we're actually going to meet uh, as a team and as a group. So um, it's preseason, that's a month long, but obviously you have some rest days in there, you have some uh, physical training and days in there, but uh, it'll be about 14 total days that we're, we're going after it at 100% level. So will you have the final roster by then by November 1st, do you believe? I'm hoping to have final roster by November 4th, 1st. That means that uh, you know a couple of the, the free agents that we're talking to are, are signed at that point. That means that uh, you know a couple of the the uh, valuation kids are able to sign with us, and and so hopefully all of that will come around and come together by November first. And um, how many spots are there total? Is there a league mandated? Uh, we will probably roster? carry 22, uh, 22 players for our roster. Um, we were able to do a practice squad, so depending on you know how close people, players are to the 22, um, whether we do a practice squad or not, um, we're able to dress an official roster of 15 for games. Uh, I'm not sure if we'll use that full 15, uh, but uh, that's what we're able to do. So, um, you know, that that right there will show you the numbers that we're talking about and how much the competition is created out of uh, trying to make the squad. Absolutely. How, how many how many players do you anticipate on a practice squad? Uh, probably five to six. Okay. Um, you definitely want to have an extra player at each level or each uh, position spot. So we're talking about probably five to six players. That way if a guy gets injured, you can bring somebody from the practice squad who knows your system, knows what you're doing. Exactly. I mean, the, the, the practice squad to me um, is just as important as, as any, any roster player um, because uh, you know, there's things that we need to learn, and, and injuries happen uh, more than you know it. So um, everybody needs to be ready as if they're going to play this weekend. I would also imagine that that's a good opportunity for you guys to develop guys who may not be, who may be on the cusp of being ready to play in the league, but not quite there yet. Yeah, and then you know, it's a huge opportunity for players to learn, uh, especially young players, um, to come in and learn and learn a system. And to be around the guys, um, some of which you know they learn, need to learn how to be professionals as well. So um, that's a very helpful tool for us. Also, coach, um, you, we talked about competition. I understand there's a possibility. You know, there's been you alluded to it earlier how some teams have closed up shop in the league. Uh, some teams may not be back. 
Uh, and I also understand that there's some exciting veterans that may or may not be on the Heat roster this yeah, year. Yeah, and I, you know, we've had some conversations and we're going to continue to do so. Uh, you know, Rochester shutting down helped us. Obviously, that puts some players on, on the free market. Um, some players weren't signed elsewhere. That, that will help us. Um, but it's all about our conversations that we have and trying to get everybody on the same page and, and willing to come here and play. And, and, you know, from the conversations that I've had with, with other players elsewhere, they, they love playing here as an away team. I think they're going to love playing here as a, as a home team. So um, that's the conversations that, that, that John and I are having with agents and players and, and trying to get everybody signed. And, and again, we want to do all of that by November 1st. Plus, where else can you work with a coaching staff like Gino DeFlorio and Tariq Walker? <laughs> yeah, well, well, hopefully, hopefully, people out there are thinking that way. <laughs> um, coach, and then, and then, lastly, with with the free agents you're talking to, with the competition you had, we talked about competition for roster spots. But it sounds like I don't want to put words in your mouth, so I'll let you answer the question. But it sounds like there's a lot of um, competition for just starting spots this year as well. Well, yeah, well, like I said, um, we we've we've always gone by there isn't a guaranteed spot. And that includes, you know, if you want to call it the first 12 players in the roster, or if you want to call it the last, you know, seven players on the practice squad. Everybody's going to be competing, and there's, there isn't any guarantees out there. So um, that's one thing, you know, when we have conversations with people, we want competition. We want players to come in and want to compete for, for that spot. Fantastic, Coach. Thank you very much for your time on the Harrisburg Heat Flash. Thank you. We'll be back with more Dungeons of the Heat Flash. Stay tuned to Heat Social Media, Twitter, Facebook, Instagram and also on harrisburgheat.com. Thank you for joining us.